hallelujah glory to god this is prophetic intercession with amel and i'm pleased to have you back on this channel if this is your first time seeing me or your first time deciding to click on my videos god bless you thank you so much for making that decision i pray god uses this channel as a platform for an encounter for you in the name of jesus please do consider to become a part of us by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content you're not going to be left out on it and if you're already a part of this family thank you so much you know that i love you and i intercede for you always i am here because you are out there you are my assignment and i'm pleased to intercede for you always and so God gave me this prophetic word for someone. But before I release it, I'd like us to pray. Father, Lord, we thank you for this prophetic word. Lord, I pray that it will minister to your people in the name of Jesus. May you divide this prophetic word and give it to everyone who listen in the place of their need. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And God says, before you say no, before you make that decision, listen to this. Any decision that is made out of pain, out of frustration, out of rejection, most at times is not the best. When you make a decision out of pain, you back up maybe from your God-given assignment because of the pain you're facing, because of the persecution you're facing, because of the things that are happening, the surrounding circumstances. It is not the best decision. Most of the time, every assignment God gives to us is tried. It is tried by the fire. It is tried by everything. There is no way you're going to fulfill your God-given purpose or go about your God-given destiny without some form of pain. Pain is a messenger, but if that pain should push you more and more towards God. That pain should push you more and more towards completing that thing that you already started. Because always remember, there is a crown ahead for you there is a crown and the more task in the assignment the bigger the crown the more t the more uh, uh, the more you face persecutions the more people reject you the more things are coming at you is the more your crown is bigger god says i should tell someone before you say no before you reject that opportunity before you back up on your god-given assignment give give it another thought you are not the only one going through what you're going through yes you are not the only one there are many more people who are going through the same thing you're going through and yet they have been able to stand this is a prophetic word from god to you there are many people who are going through worse things and yet they have been able to stand most of the times the motivation is that whenever things get difficult you should remember why you embarked on that journey in the first place why you decided to give your heart to christ in the first place did you come to god because of what he could give you or is it because you heard that you have an assignment here on earth and you are trying to fulfill that assignment the assignment from god to you is never easy but one of the things you have to be grateful is because god promised that he's not going to leave you alone he has not left you alone in it he is with you it doesn't matter if the full weight of what you are feeling comes upon you you will not be able to stand it but god and the holy spirits god through the holy spirit acts like a shock absorber to those pain you're feeling to those trying moments you're going through he doesn't let all the weight fall on you he doesn't let all the weight fall on you from time to time the holy spirit strengthens you for the work ahead because it is a noble thing jesus which is our, who is our perfect example the one we look up to our elder brother the one who came to die for us to reconcile us to the father the one who is making intercessions for us right now in the at the right hand of god he was here on earth and he went to through similar things I tell you, God at some point wanted to back off. Jesus wanted to back off because the pain, just like you and I are going through right now, the pain he went through was much for him. It was too much for him. At a point, he begged God that if it were possible, let him take away the cup from him because he felt the weight of everything that was happening to him. And the only thing God could do for him, God did not tell him anything. But to, one, to you and to me, from time to time, God 
God is giving us prophetic words to assure us that he is with us. God gives us prophetic words. He gives us direction when we are stuck. But to Jesus, when he cried to God, God did not say anything. The only thing God did was to send angels to strengthen him to go on with the task. And God keeps doing that for us every day. God keeps strengthening us every day. And so God sent me here to tell someone, before you say no, before you say it is too much, before you give up, before you back off, remember why you started in the first place and know that your assignment is a noble thing from God to you. It has pleased the Lord to entrust that work into your hands. It could have been someone else, but God has given it to you. God has placed it into your hands. It's because he has, en he has, he has endowed you with everything you need to do it. You are bigger than who you think you are. You are stronger than what you think you are than how strong you think you are. You can go through things that you do not even know you can go through. If you just tell Holy Spirit, I yield myself to you, this is difficult for me, but help me in my trying moments. It's not always going to be like this. Your life is not always going to be at this point. You are not going to always need a kingdom spouse ever because a time is coming when God will send, send them to you. you. You are not always going to be suffering from maybe financial lack or suffering from rejection. It is not always going to be like this. It is just a phase in your life. And I pray that you choose to look at the future. You choose to look at your purpose over your pain. Look at your purpose over your pain. Keep asking yourself, what does God want from me? Where am I headed? Whenever that pain comes upon you and you feel like you want to back off, you feel like you want to back out, you feel like you want to give up, ask yourself, why did I start in the first place? What is in this for me? What does God have for me? The thought of that will keep you on track always. It's going to keep you knowing that there is a crown for you and your purpose is greater than any kind of pain you are going to feel because that pain is not meant to kill you, but it's meant to strengthen you. It is meant to make you appreciate what God is going to give you at the end of the day. God has beautiful things in store for us, but always before those those beautiful things come God is gonna to try to pass us through the fire try to because he wants to refine us he wants to make us better people people that are gonna represent his glory people that are going that he's gonna be proud of like he said about Job have you seen my son have you considered my son Job have you seen him God wants to be proud about one of us God has been wants, wants to be proud about you that is why he's letting you go through the things he's going through you're going through hoping that you're not gonna disappoint him hoping that you're not gonna back out hoping that you're not gonna let go because things are tough God is with you and the glory ahead is never going to be compared with the pain you're feeling right now the glory ahead is far greater and when the days of your glory come you are not going to remember the days you were in trouble you will not remember the days you were single you will not remember the days you were lacking maybe financially emotionally i don't know what that is your area of pain right now when god decides to shine his light upon you you will not remember those days because the glory is far more greater is far more greater than any kind of pain you can ever go through and so god sent me to tell you before you say no before you give up before you back out ask yourself why did i start where am i headed what is in need for me god cannot lie to you he did not bring you this far to abandon you god is with you and he will see you through till the end in the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cast his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. God bless you. Shalom.